Hey y'all, it's G, and welcome to this week's plan with me. It is week 44, October 26 to November 1. It is the end of October. I say this every time, but it's so hard to believe. Well, obviously, this week is containing Halloween, and in America, it's one of the most celebrated holidays that we have. So I'm going to dress up this week's spread with Halloween-themed items. I'm going to be using the, this is an old Happy Planner sticker book from 2018. This is the seasonal year. It has a bunch of things all through the year. And obviously I haven't used very much of it, so I've got a lot of leaves to work with. Lots of functional things. Um, spider webs. square stickers, and then these kind of bucket list stickers. But I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. I love this little house, and then these bats. I think I could kind of do a fun thing swooping from one to the other. And I like these round functional stickers. Okay, it's pretty easy today, so we're gonna get started. Let us first find some washi that will work. These are all Thanksgiving themed. There is this one, which is more fallish. Kind of like it with the leaves. There's a spiderweb one, which I like, but it's too thick. Hmm. I think I want to get some black though because I don't want the washi to take over from the art. So these are the options I have in black. Those are straight up black which is kind of boring. This has these polka dots in it. You know what, I think that's going to work out really well. Let's go for that. And we don't have any giant plans for Halloween this year. Normally we over prepare and buy a lot of candy and a hack that I have is I buy candy that I don't like so I don't end up eating it. But I don't think they're going to be, and we don't usually get a lot of trick or treaters. I have a friend that lives like one neighborhood over and she said last year she gave away 2,000 pieces of candy which sounds insane that there would be so many kids coming through. But they don't come to my neighborhood, at least my block, just like the neighborhood kids do. And I don't think they're gonna do that this year. There are a lot more decorations around the neighborhood though. Oh, that, look at that, that matches perfectly. Look how cute that is. Love it. Bats. Bats flying from the house. So there's some small bats here, so we're gonna have them go swoop up. I think I need to think about the weekend banner before I put this last bat over here. I knew there was something I was forgetting. What do I put in the weekend? I am not putting a bicycle. I could put these here, that might be nice. Oh, I love, okay. I think I know what I need to do. I need to find a weekend sticker. This Happy Halloween might be the ticket. And Saturday is Halloween, so I think I'm gonna fussy cut this out so it's not exactly the same height as this. And I'm gonna layer it with these spider webs. It is not exactly the weekend, but hopefully it'll function kind of like that.
that was a mistake. But we're gonna go with it. That's weird on the bottom and behind it. You know, I wish I had a spider. I have these bats, but what I really need is a spider. Yeah, we'll stick that there. You know what I should have done was put this maybe up in here and that pumpkin lives here. Let's see how that will work. Or maybe I can just festoon pumpkins next to it. Oh look, there's a spider. Ha! Oh, she can hang off of here. Perfect. I wish she were clear, but maybe I can just do this as close as I can get it. Okay, this is so perfect. I might not need this hook here. Yes, perfect. I would love a little pumpkin right here. Much better. Let's see if I can put these poison bottles somewhere near here too. Kind of be nice as a filler between that. these up in here. And I'm seeing these. These will be fun up in here. So let me put those there. So this added texture. That's this week's plan with me. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great Halloween. Thanks for watching. Bye.